Okay, so now we are in the demonstration part of this video. I'm going to demonstrate uh, my project to you. As you can see, the level in the tank is empty. I haven't on the pump yet. I haven't done the connection for the pump. So now I'm gonna go and do the connection for the pump. As you can see, the display showing pump on and it's showing uh, empty there. And the level for empty that I've set is over here. I have set the empty level around here. So now I'm going to start the pump and the water will st This is the sump and this is our storage tank. So as you can see there's water in the sump. So it's gonna start pumping because there's water in the pump sump that's why it's showing empty and pump on. Let me go and connect my motor. Now I've connected my motor. As you can see the display showing empty pump on and my pump is on, it's pumping the water into the tank over here, over here, and as you can see the level in the tank is increasing from here, this is where the level in the tank, now it's increasing, so the display is showing 20% there, now the conditions are that when there is water in the sump, and there is no water in the tank tank and the tank is empty then the pump must turn on until 100% level or full level in the tank is reached once the full level in the tank is reached or 100% level and the pump turns off so right now we are in the first condition there's water in the sump so the pump is on and it's filling up the tank now the second condition is when there is no water in the sump then the pump will stay off so this is the sump if there is no water in the sump then the pump will stay off no matter what the condition or what the level of the water in the tank is so if there is no water in the sump the pump will stay off this is to avoid dry running of the of the pump those are the two basic conditions now if i have to go in detail so when the there's the ultrasonic sensor inside if it senses empty and there's water in the sump then the pump will be on until full level until it senses a full level in the storage tank then it's going to go off and no matter what the level in the storage tank is as long as there is no water in the sump the pump will remain off so as you can see the water in the sump is decreasing here but in the real life, there's always there'll always be water in the sump. If there isn't any water in the sump, the pump will go off. That condition I'll demonstrate to you later on in the video. Once a uh, hundred percent level there is uh, is reached. So for now, let me fill the sump. So it carries on filling until hundred percent. As you can see, the level is reaching eighty percent, and soon going to read 100% and the pump will go off and the display will show that the pump went off so this level measurement in the storage tank works with ultrasonic sound system so there's a transmitter and receiver in the ultrasonic sensor it sends sound waves and then it the receiver detects that sound wave and according to the time difference, we do the calculations to measure the level in the tank. These calculations are done in my program. As you can see, I will upload my program down below. Now the level is 100%. Once it reaches full, the pump will go off. As you can see, the level is here right now. Let me put this right. And you see, there's the level. Now, take note, take note. Once I have set my full level to be somewhere around here because the ultrasonic needs a certain amount of blocking distance and I didn't and of course this type of level measurement is not 100% uh, accurate due to ambient ultrasound noise disturbances in the environment. So we would have to compensate for inaccuracies by setting the maximum level 5% below and setting the empty level 5% above the original maximum and empty levels. And because of the accuracy problem, I've used the 
20% range in my display. Now as you can see the pump is off because the tank is full. As you can see there the level in the tank is here and that's the full level that I've set. Now I'm gonna open the tap and the tank will drain. Once the empty level is reached the pump will start pumping again. So I'm not filling my sump full because I want the sump to run dry to demonstrate my condition that no matter what the level in the tank is the pump will stay off if there's no water in the sump so that is the reason I've only filled the sump till there so once the tank reaches empty then it will start filling up until the sump runs full and it's going to stop at a certain level and it's going to remain stopped although it won't be full it will still remain stopped because there will be no water in the sump and that's where this demonstration will be finished so as you can see it's showing that the pump is off and the level is 40 percent in the storage tank and as you can see my storage tank is draining there's the level remember this is empty empty somewhere here and full is somewhere here i've just left some space because once the level goes below here <laughs> it still won't the water won't drop out so i kept my empty level around here but for so i don't want the empty to be fully so i kept the pumping level over here so once it reaches somewhere around here the pump is gonna go on i didn't want it to reach very low and again on when it reaches around there it's gonna go off so I've already demonstrated that condition. Now the main condition that I have to demonstrate to you is that when the sump runs dry. So let's wait for it. You see, it was showing draining. Now it's empty. So the pump has turned on. As you can see here, the pump has turned on. You can't hear the pump because this thing is draining. So at the right now what's happening is this thing is draining and the pump is on. This thing is draining and the pump is on at the same time. So you can see the level is remaining the same. But now I'll close this thing and then you'll be able to see, you'll be able to hear the pump that it's on. Now you can see this thing is going to run dry after a while because it's uh, the sump is nearly empty so the sensor there will sense no water and it will stop the pump see showing filling and pump on as you can see there it's nearly empty yes you see no water in the sump because the sensor is no more sensing water you see this bottle is empty nearly empty that is just uh, the range that i've set so the sensor is sensing no water so the pump is off and, and it's also showing the level in the tank that is 40 percent so the good thing about my program is that it shows you the level no matter and it shows you the condition of the pump all the time even if there's water in the sump or if there's no water in the sump now there's no water in the sump but still showing that my level is 40% over there and the pump is off. Now, if I open this tap, the level will decrease and it will still show that the level is 20% and there's no water in the sump. So, the good thing about my program and compared to all the other programs that I have researched on YouTube and I found the same project is that my program compensates for nearly all the conditions that you can come across and it will display the level in the tank all the time now you can see the level in the tank is 20 percent because the level over there is 20 percent all the time it will display the level in the tank and all the time it will display the, co 
the, the if the pump is on or if the pump is off and below 20% will show that now it's draining and pump is off this is because there's no water in the sump it still remains off the pump won't go on because there's no water in the sump as you can see it's showing there's no water in the sump and it will drain fully it will go below our pump on level because there is no water in the sump so the pump will never go on if there is no water in the sump so the pump will never run dry so our pump will not get damaged and it will not take a lot of electricity because when the pump runs dry it pulls a lot of current and the pump gets damaged so this will the system will save you a lot of money and you'll never have to worry about checking oning and offing the switch all the time this is a great system that's what i think about it and i've worked very hard to make it now you can see so once this thing doesn't drain any water i'm gonna put some water in the sump just to show you that this thing is working perfectly well Now you can see this thing is draining very slow because it's going below the level. You see. So now I'll just put some water in the sump so the pump can start. And you will see it will keep the level there until I off this. Now what is happening, you see, it's showing that my pump is on. So the pump is on, this thing was draining slowly. Because the pump is pumping water inside, now this thing is draining fast. And you can see that my pump is on when I close this. You can, can you hear the pump? Yes. So now it's just going to do the same thing that we started with. So thanks a lot guys for watching this video. Please, for the circuit diagrams and all the other information about this uh, project, please check my description below. I will link my next video where I show you all my settings and yes peace enjoy your day please give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time there's the line I got from great Scott bye